Talk is what we do. You know, the youth of Nigeria have historically been apathetic towards the electoral process. There's no way for the youth to participate in mainstream fields like oil and gas, banking, and so on. It does, the youth are actively excluded from those fields. And so we just created our own way in tech. Informed analysis. Reliable. Accurate. We actually advocate you get your eyes checked at least once a year. When you go for an eye check, the routine things they check, they do for you is to check your visual acuity. The visual acuity is how good you see. A lot of us don't actually know that we don't see so well. But because, like I said earlier, we can count money, we think we're doing very well. Your number one station for talk. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. This, this is the glass ceiling. Glass ceiling. On hard facts. Hard facts. <laughs> It's five minutes past four. I'm Sandra Ezekwesili. Welcome to The Glass Ceiling, where we talk about the different obstacles that um, stand in the way of women achieving equality. These um, um, obstacles are often invisible. They are invisible barriers. It's like when you're looking at a glass door and you want to uh, walk into an office or walk into a building, really, and it has a glass door, and the glass door doesn't have a sign that says, mind the glass... Um, you will probably walk smack into the door, probably, you know, crash it and get injured, right? Um, and that's because you, you're you looking at the door, you're not seeing that there's a barrier there because the barrier is invisible. You're seeing the other side. You're seeing your goal. You simply cannot get to that goal because there's a glass um, door or a glass wall or a glass ceiling. That's what it's like for women in the home, in the workplace, in politics, Everywhere in the society in general, there are these invisible obstacles in their way, um, um, stopping them from being all that they can be. And where it all starts very often is childhood. The way that boys and girls are raised, that's how it starts. That's where it starts because that's the smallest unit of the society, right? The family is the smallest unit of the society. So... When she's a child, that's when she begins to learn that she's not equal to the boy or equal to the man or that there are certain things that she's not allowed to do because she's female. The boy is also learning that there are, other, there are certain things he's not allowed to do or because he's male. The boy is also learning that the woman is beneath him. That's why you make comments like, how can you allow a girl take first position? How could you come second in class and a girl came first and you call yourself a boy? I'm sure you heard those comments when you were a child, if you were an Efiko like me. So last week, we started talking about how parenting increases or reduces gender equality. How does that happen? How does parenting increase or reduce gender inequality? And I had very interesting conversations, very interesting calls. Let me play some of them for you. First up is Mama G. She called and she had very interesting things to say. <laughs> Hello, Mama G. Hello, good evening, Sister Sandra. Good evening, welcome. Uh, I'm a grandmother, and uh, I just want to thank you for this uh, opportunity given to me. All right, thank you, welcome. We are talking about parental. I want to talk about the uh, new technology mother. Okay. That they cannot even cook nor teach anybody how to cook. Okay. Their own cooking is indomie. Indomie is food now. Yes, it's indomie. Out of out of uh, twenty ladies, mm. nineteen is Indomie ladies. Okay, they don't know how to prepare food. They don't know how, to, how can they teach children what they don't have. Well, if if they don't know it, at least their husbands should know it. Their husbands will teach the children. Don't okay, you think so? The husband going to teach the children how to cook. Ca can't the husband teach the children how to cook? That is not a day's husband or, or old in day's husband. Husband, period. Can a, can a husband not teach their children how to cook? Where do you see the husband? Is the husband at home? Is the wife at home nowadays? Okay. Where, where, where is the children going to learn what you are telling them to learn? If the mother doesn't know how to cook and the father knows how to cook, can the father not teach the children? Because of this, they have a housemaid, nanny. Now, when they, the when, they, cannot cook. when they when they cannot do anything, when they go to live in the abroad, there are no nannies there, there are no households there. They both have to figure it out together, right? I'm not talking of abroad. I'm talking of Nigeria here. What is happening here? Okay, so if a husband and wife don't know how to cook and they hire somebody that can cook, have they done something bad? There is not bad, but the children cannot learn. They will learn from the nanny. Ah, uh, the uh, uh, the children. Let me tell you, the children will not even get. They won't have the. They won't have the time to go and learn anything because there's a nanny 
ya hice laundryman, ya hice gardener, a candelar. Okay, so if the children have a nanny and a laundryman and a gardener, it means that those children are from a very rich home, which means that they will probably never need to learn how to cook or, or garden so or do I all have, those things. Let me tell you why I'm saying this. I have a wife that is only in domain, in domain, in domain, in domain. Again, domain? again, noodles are a, are a filling food. So if it's noodles they can make, at least somebody is eating, right? Three times a day. Again, if she cannot cook anything other than Indomie, why are we looking at her, but we're not looking at her husband? Why she's not interested in learning? Inko from her, husband, her husband, you see, this is what you're saying. When the, when the wife cannot learn, they hey. cannot teach children. Yes, but where is the husband? Can the husband not teach the yeah, children? The husband, husband of her days, technology husband, technology wife, Technology children. But you're complaining only about the, the wife. Why? I'm not complaining. What I'm saying is that what you don't have, you cannot give to somebody. You can learn on YouTube. Oh. I, te I taught people how to cook stew from YouTube. Uh, maybe, maybe you are not the type of technology people I'm talking about. <laughs> Mama G, thank you very much for calling. Serious. It was very interesting the conversation mama g and i had <laughs> last week and we got a, a few other um very interesting calls as well there's this one i received from uche uh, let me play that call for you and then let's keep talking hello uche hello sandra good afternoon good afternoon thanks for calling are you a technology mom <laughs> yes i am <laughs> Whatever that means. Good to have you on the show. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, um, I'd like to say that I agree that, you know, parents play a very important role on however way they want their children to turn mm. out. Okay. And I'll give, like, my family, for instance, my, I think my brother would have my head for this because I'm sure he's listening. <laughs> Okay. Please don't have her head, brother. <laughs> so first off, you know, um, the family dynamics, myself and my brother, mm. we had, you know, just both of us, but so we had two different kinds of upbringing, mm -hmm. where I was brought up, you know, the way told you, Iga mm. you will get married, oh, you yes. have to do this, learn Bring how to, to. Cook because Iga mm. learn how to wash plates because you have to marry. Oh, that to 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 men are exactly. Mm -hmm. But it was never the same for my brother. Sometimes I'm like, why didn't I even come to the school as a guy? Because there wasn't anything, there, there were, he didn't have trouble. Mm. And he wasn't as domesticated. Mm. And for me, it was a problem because my father is very domestic. I think my father cooks the best onubu soup in Nigeria. <laughs> like, he is that good. Is he alive? Can I have and some of that onubu soup? He's alive. He's <laughs> alive. <laughs> but it wasn't the same thing with my brother. It was just like, oh, you know how your only son, only son, boys mm. be boys. Ah, and king. I was wondering. Only son is a well, king, oh. How do you, people, how were you brought up to be very domesticated mm -hmm. and for your leaving him to be whatever he wants to be. Mm. And right now that we're all grown, mm -hmm. I just look at him, I'm like, God help you with your own children because I want to know the mouth you used to tell them to do anything because you're not doing anything right now. Mm. Being the other and the daughter, there's so much responsibility on me. There's mm. so much work on me. I have to do so many things. Mm -hmm. And my brother just feels like, okay, um, it's your work. You were trained to do it. You understand how mm. to do it. And he doesn't know how to do this. Thing. So I really feel bad for him because he tries. You know, when somebody is trying, but you can't learn old tricks in new tricks in old age. He mm. doesn't know how to do these things at all. He mm. was not trained to do them. He does not know how to do anything. Mm. And I just, I just worry for him. Right now, I have children, and I am intentional about how I want them to come out. There is no chore that is a boy's chore or a girl's chore. I send my daughters to go and wash car. You will wash the car because it's your own. Mm -hmm. And I said, like, you want to learn how to, you want to eat at this, you will go and cook the food. If you cook food that doesn't have stuff, you all eat it and will smile. <laughs> and you go outside and disgrace your family outside because <laughs> I, I, I tried. You but know, ha, so but how about your husband, though? How, how's your husband, how was your husband so raised? My husband is very domesticated as well. Okay. Once in a while, he tries to forget, you know, he'll tell you, uh, I've forgotten. I said, you, you can't forget because before you got married to me, 
they do not this thing by yourself. We say, oh, I've forgotten how to cook the goose soup. I say, there's Google. <laughs> yeah, you will try. Anything we cook, we eat like that. But even with our children, you know, he's very dear. He's very present. You mm. know, we tell them, I know how to do this thing. I changed your diaper, so mm. you will know how to do this particular type of thing. And they think for us. Mm. Once in a while, I just cut in that slack to just be the man and say, oh, okay, I'm not going to do anything, but it's ingrained in the boot of us and it, it tells on the way our children behave right now. So so in your opinion, parenting is, is where it starts, huh? It's where it starts. Yes, it takes a community, it takes a village, mm. but it comes, it begins from the house, it begins from the influence they, they see from their parents. If mm. they see their parents doing this thing and the parents are singing it as songs and are trying so hard to to make them do this thing, mm -hmm. they will pick it up. You okay. can't go outside and learn something. If you go out and learn it, mm. and you come back and it's not what is being practiced in your home, mm -hmm. it wouldn't work. It has to work there. It has to be their way of life from home. Mm. Then they go out. Sometimes even when they go and try to just do some things, mm -hmm. so you get tired. You can't form forever. You mm. can't just want to be. In you relax forever. into who you really are. Training will still seep through mm. at some point, and you be who you were trained to be. Uche, thank you very much for calling. Now, that was last week, right? And whenever you talk about um, gender differences in parenting, people will tell you, uh, well, there are good reasons for it. They will say, oh, that the di division of labor is fair, you know? So, for example, they will say, eh, girls are made to cook and clean and take care of younger siblings, while boys, uh, boys are made to cut grass and wash car and maybe fix gen nowadays and, you know, things like that. But, of course, you have to, you, 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 you have to listen to the people who ask, well, why can't the children of both genders do both types of work? So, for example, I went to an all-girls boarding school. And in boarding school, <laughs> and no boys around, you did that. You cut grass. If it's a house with no boys, or even in an all-boys boarding school, um, the, the sorry, a, a, a house with uh, no boys, you have the daughters who will cut grass. You have the daughters who will wash the cars. You have uh, the same happening for a house where there's just boys and no daughters. Or a school where you have just boys. The boys will cook. The boys will clean. The boys will wash toilets. The boys will cut grass. The boys will serve food at the dining hall. They will wash plates. They will sweep. They will mop. In their own house, they will take care of babies. And heaven will not fall. These boys will grow up to be normal men. Cooking for their younger ones, backing babies will not affect them in any way. It just gives them skills that they can use to take care of their own children. If they decide to have those children. When they decide to have those children. There was a time that only men were allowed to work outside the home. There was a time only men were allowed to work outside the home. So back then, gender-based division of labor made sense. The husbands were the ones who went out to work and made money. The wives stayed at home to take care of the children and the home. And when the man comes home from a long day at work, he says, oh, he can't start, you know, doing more work in the house again. But nowadays, that's not the case. As you, you be bus driver, your house, your wife, they sell something for markets. As you be mason, your wife, they do small, small work. They support the family too. Everybody, they come out for money. Everybody, they come out for, come back house for evening. Division of labor has ended partially. Women are not working outside the home. So when husband and wife go out to work and come home at the same time, does it still make sense for only the wife to do the housework? For only the wife to raise the children? So let me make it real for you. I'm hoping that uh, we can take calls because it, it does seem like we're having some technical difficulties. But if you cannot call in, if your calls are not connecting, please uh, send me messages via WhatsApp. Send me messages on Facebook because WhatsApp is also not going to be available very soon. So uh, send the messages via um, Facebook, Nigeria Info 99.3. Collins and Andrea Teke. You listen to them on What's Up Lagos. By the way, you need to listen to them. If you don't listen, you need to listen to the Tekes every weekday at 10 a.m. But yeah, Collins and Andrea, husband and wife, they are doing the exact same 
job. They come to the office together. They go home together. And they just had a baby. Now, according to those of you who say childcare is only for women, you are saying that when they get home, after having the exact same day at work, only Andrea should take care of the children while Collins should go and relax. Does that make sense to you? But in many houses, that's exactly what's happening. When it comes to working to make money, there is gender equality, but both husband and wife are expected to contribute. But when it comes to child care, a lot of the time, it's only the wife that is still expected to contribute. And even when the husband wants to contribute, a lot of the time, he cannot because he doesn't know how or he's afraid to. Why? Because of his upbringing, because his parents did not raise him properly. His parents did not teach him when he was young how to take care of children, how to cook, so that when he marries a wife that cannot cook, Mama G will not complain that the wife doesn't know how to cook. Mama G will say, eh, his wife doesn't know how to cook, but thank God for my grandson. My grandson is a very good cook. He cooks very well. Or my son is a cook. He's a good cook. He will teach his children. She won't focus only on her child's, her son's wife. You know? And that's the reason why today, 20 or 30 years later, you have the man's wife not being treated equally or fairly in the home. There's an imbalance in the work that they do because the man lacks the skills. So why are we raising men who lack parenting and childcare skills? Why is there inequality in the way we raise our sons and in the way we raise our daughters? Why do we do that? Women, call me on 01465-7190. That's the number that men should call me on. Why are we raising men who lack parenting and childcare skills? Why is there inequality in the way that we raise our sons and our daughters? 99.3. Hello. Sorry about that. Call back if you can. We've got Chingwe on the line. Hello, Chingwe. Thank you for calling Am us. Am I speaking with Sandra? Yes, you are now. All right. Um, when it comes to the issue of uh, gender equality in child training, mm -hmm. I think um, the parents of these days, we are overindulging the children. Okay. In some cases, is the area of boys. In some cases, is the girls. And in some cases, the both. But the problem is that the answer lies in the hands of the parents. I can assure you, my mom, we have two boys, seven girls. Hmm. But all, you no, know, our, bo our brothers cook better than the girls. Okay. Not just that, my grandmom, my mom is the only daughter in the midst of five, five boys. Mm -hmm. And my, my, my uncles, they had the restaurant. Hmm. Yeah, and they go. They, they cook very well. So it depends on the parents. When we overindulge the children, hmm. we can't get the best. I see. And for, don't forget that in the nearest future, hmm. they will be, this is what we give them now, mm -hmm. that they will give to the next generation. That's right. Besides that, the, the, the aspect of uh, is, uh, is making, balancing the equation. Mm -hmm. If the male child can go to a particular school, learn the same mathematics, mm -hmm. the female child goes to the same school, learn the same mathematics, mm -hmm. that means they both can do literally everything. So let's try to balance the equation. Teach the boys as they're teaching the girls. Let them know everything they need to know about the home. And because that is the reason why if you go to the workforce today, even the ladies, they, they have taken over the offices. Because... The parents then felt that ah, the girls should be more agile and but that is not helping the boys, the men today. Mm. That is why even the men are because of the overindulgence in the previous time. That is why they're having issues these days. Hmm. All right, Chingwen, okay. thank you very much for calling. Chingwen said we overindulge, uh, well, in the past we overindulged the men. Today we're in, overindulging both the men and both the boys and the girls. All right, then. 99.3, hello. 
Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling. What's your name? Hey, my name is Paul, calling you from Lekki. Paul, welcome to the show. Okay, uh, the issue of uh, gender equality. Yes. Uh, my opinion is that um, God did not do mistake by creating a man and a woman. We're not talking about gender equality. We're talking about how you're raising your children at home. Are you a parent? Yes, I am. Okay, so you have a fa- uh, do you have a son and a daughter? Or you have only one. I have two boys. They are still very young. You have two boys. Yes, two okay. boys. Okay, how old are they? Uh, one is three. One is ten months. One is three months and um, three years. Hmm. By ten months. Okay, and and um, going by what you said earlier on, is is it um, safe to assume that you're going to raise your boys to think that um, they are superior to girls? No, that's not what I'm saying. Are you going to teach them to to have basic life skills like taking care of their of themselves, cooking, cleaning, things like that? Sure, uh, those are the basic things they have to do. Okay, because that's the conversation them. we're having. Really, the conversation yeah, we're I'm having is how parenting increases or reduces gender inequality. Mm, the that's the conversation. That, okay, these things you are saying mm. it's for both men. And female child. Exactly. Mm, there's no exception. Exactly. I'm, I'm looking at it this way. I'm looking mm. at it this way. Okay. God created a man, um, giving a man more, like more power. It, you, you, it's not. That's compared. not true. You, no. Where you okay? For example, you have a construction site. Mm-hmm. Let me use that as an example. Mm-hmm. You have men, boys who are carrying blocks, cement. Going from uh, first floor. You sound very floor. educated. I'm wondering why you're making such an in- unintelligent argument. That's that's the measure that women are not at construction sites carrying cement, which is also a lie, by the way. Because a lot of construction sites, you look around, you see women carrying block and carrying sand. I, <laughs> Sandra, mm-hmm. I don't think so. No, look at you. Don't <coughs> think so. No, but I'm telling you what is happening in lo- in a lot of constru- construction sites. You have women who are working there, and you even I have those women, there, yes, working there, and you even have them complaining that the men who work there sexually harass them, sometimes rape them. Now, I, I wish I had that. more time to continue this conversation, but we need to take a break. I'm so sorry. If you can call back, please call back. I want to talk to you some more. You've always wished you had a Samsung washing machine? Now you can get one in the Super Deals promo. From now to the 31st of May, you can get up to a 24% discount when you buy a Samsung Twin Top washing machine and an 11% discount on drum washing machines. Get a washing machine and enjoy innovative technology that only Samsung can provide. Stay connected with Samsung. Our friend Oliver is what you call a man with a huge appetite. Gigantic, actually. And if there's one free... created new data plans for people like Oliver and we got him exactly that. And guess what Oliver said? Uh, excuse me, oh, please, is this all for me? Only me? Now, Oliver certainly has more than enough data. All thanks to the Glow Mega Data Plans. With the longer validity you get on Glow Mega Data Plans, you can work from home with ease, run your business better, download non-stop, stream music and movies endlessly, learn online and share data with anyone. No worries. Get 225 gigabytes at 30,000 Naira for 30 days. 425 gigabytes at 50,000 Naira for 90 days and one terabyte at 100,000 naira for a year. Dow star 777 hash now to start enjoying these mega plans. Glow unlimited. Hello, hello? Hey, my friend. Yeah? In May is going to be amazing with DSTV. There are 155 matches from the Premier League. What? La Liga, Serie A, Champions League and FA Cup. Whoa. That's two of the biggest cup finals and three of the best leagues in the world reaching the pinnacle of the season. Whoa, that is amazing. It is amazing, Katie. And the only place in the world where you can watch all of this amazing football in May is on DSTV. Be amazed by the world's best football when you get connected to DSTV. Charles! Yes, Mommy? Go and bring two sachets of Piper Bleach for me. Why two? Because I'm using one to soak the wipes and using one to kill all 
Daffy Jim. Mom, I can't see any hands here. <laughs> they are so tiny, you can't see them. But they are there. And that is why I trust only Hyperbleach to kill them all. Make your white fabrics whiter and your household free of illness causing germs and viruses with the disinfecting power of Hyperbleach. Football is back and there are more ways to win on BetKing. With mega odds and the widest market selections ever, you can increase your winnings with an accumulated bonus of up to 225%. Don't have an account? Visit BetKing.com to sign up now and claim a welcome bonus up to 100,000 Naira. Stay safe and keep kicking. BetKing, boy do I be for kicking. Say you wanna feel that boost? Allow me to introduce somebody that keeps me. energy in you. 8 times 500 naira, 4,000 naira. 8 times 5,000. Hey! Uh, I beg. Where on are they see this money? Hmm. Monique. Now they open get for no see here this summer me as I buy new SIM card. Oh. See eh? Then they give me double data subscription. Plus 8 times I woof anytime I recharge. Oh boy. Also for me now. You know say you fit buy SIM card now for any accredited airtel shop va? Just go there with your NIN. Just like that. Sure guy. <laughs> airtel. The Smartphone Network. Of Lacassera with new colorful, exciting look. Hot to tell. Bam, ba, apple test, no change. Oh, Lacassera, I love this smell. Need money? Rent money. Need money? Rent money. Need money? Rent money. Visit rentmoney.com or call 0700 5500. Need money? Rent money. Need money? Rent money. Need money? Rent money. Need money? Rent money. Visit rentmoney.com or call 0700 5,500. Need money? Red money! You've always wished you had a Samsung washing machine? Now you can get one in the Super Deals promo. From now to the 31st of May, you can get up to a 24% discount when you buy a Samsung Twin Top washing machine and an 11% discount on drum washing machines. Get a washing machine and enjoy innovative technology that only Samsung can provide. Stay connected. With Samsung. Before now, getting a good HMO that works perfectly for my staff was a lot of hassle. Many HMOs come with cumbersome registration. It gets worse when my staff come back to complain about the terrible service they get from these HMOs. I decided to give Relias HMO a try based on glowing recommendations I received from my HR colleagues, and I was not disappointed. I was able to register all 100 staff in five minutes. I have access to a 24 hour responsive helpline and an account manager that helps me with any issue. My staff raves about the premium service they receive from Reliance HMO. They especially love the access to gym, spa, dental care, and the hospital roaming. I no longer worry myself about issues concerning HMO. Reliance HMO does that for me. I will recommend them any day. Visit reliancehmo.com forward slash corporate or call 0700-7354-2623 to get a quote for your company and start enjoying reliable healthcare today. Reliance HMO, you can rely on us. Football is back and there are more ways to win on BetKing. With 
mega odds and the widest market selections ever. You can increase your winnings with an accumulated bonus of up to 225%. Don't have an account? Visit betking.com to sign up now and claim a welcome bonus up to 100,000 Naira. Stay safe and keep king. Bet king. Point welcome for king. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Ah ah, Rama. You just they come. Me, I don't break my fast though. With the food, where they give us for here. In fact, now nah, so so chill with you before we collect ham. So, all this stress on top say you want to collect food for breaking fast. Hey, hey. Don't worry yourself. Because me don't get oh, bone get food from Adron Home. You remember I tell you about the Ramadan promo. You said you benefit from Adron Ramadan promo package. With shitting you money like 25,000 naira initial deposit. You go get food pack or shopping voucher and even spread the payment within 24 months. You know, finish for there for every. Every land where you buy, you said go collect good food. You can't pay one million income. You go collect food pack, bag of rice, goods, and even shopping voucher. Take join body. <laughs> Waiting you they wait for. Oh yeah, shop and go Adron Home. Make you set benefit from the Ramadan promo. For more story, make you call us for 0803 556 4317 or 0802 325 5398. People know how to make an impression, and that's why they only trust Lush Hair Extensions to bring out the shine in them. Lush Hair, be beautiful. My people, how far? See, eh? if any kind person say you want the coded password for your bank app, I'll be your pin. Your card pin, I'll be the carry number with the back of your card. Your pay ID, I'll be the answer for your security question. I beg, don't give them all. All this information, they're supposed to be coded. You know, suppose share them with anybody. Make you wise up. No make them scam you. Oh. This message now from Kuda Microfinance Bank, the bank of the free. Make you download Kuda for your Play Store or for App Store to open account. Make you start to the enjoy a Ufa kid. <laughs> 99.3 Nigeria Info, your number one station for talk. Let's talk. 437 on the glass ceiling today. I'm Sandra Ezekwesili. And the question we're asking is a very simple one, really. So don't get it twisted. How does parenting increase or reduce gender inequality. We're having that conversation because for more than one month, we talked about um, you know, uh, child care, who should be responsible for child care, who should be responsible for the day-to-day -day of it. And from a lot of the conversation we had, it became apparent to me that where the problem starts is in how we are raised, how Sandra Ezekwesi was raised by her father and her mother, how um, the guy who was on the phone with me, I think it was John, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't remember who was on the phone with me before we went on the break was raised by his father and his mother how he intends to raise his two sons one of them um, three the other one ten months old that's where it starts that's where we begin to define um, the, 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 the equality status of men and women I mean we started this conversation Talking about the people who say that, oh, there's a reason why um, um, men do certain boys. Because we're not talking about men and women now. We're talking about boys and girls, our children. That's who we're talking about. So, so some people tell you, oh, there's a reason why boys do certain things and girls do the other things because division of labor. And then I gave you the example of all girls boarding school. All girls boarding school, girls do all the chores both the ones that are reserved traditionally for boys. 
Same for all boys' boarding schools. Boys do all the chores. They wash dishes. They take care of the younger students. They um, uh, cook. They dish food. They do all the chores. Sweep, clean, wash the toilets. All of it. They do it all. You know? And I also gave you the example of boys who are born in a home where there's just boys, no girls, or one girl only. And you have in those families um, the boys stepping up, doing housework, doing childcare work. And then I brought it forward to today where in most homes now, the man and the woman are both working. It's not as common as it used to be back in the day where it was just the man going out to go and look for money and the wife was staying home to take care of the children and cook and do all of that. And I gave you the example of Collins and Andrea Teke. They both come to work at the same time. They're doing the exact same job. They come to the office together. They go home together. And some of you think that when they do get home, only Andrea should take care of the children they have or the child that they have while Collins relaxes. That's what a lot of you are saying. And my question is, does that make sense? Because in a lot of houses, that's what happens. When it comes to working and making money, both the man and the woman are going out to make money. Both the husband and wife are expected to contribute to the upkeep of the family. But when it comes to child care, when it comes to uh, home care, a lot of that work is still being left for women. And so years later, you have men who, uh, you know, are raised in houses where all they saw being modeled for them was daddy going out to come home and, you know, going out to make money, mommy going out to make money, mommy coming back and still taking care of me, daddy watching soccer or out with the boys drinking beer or just asking me about my homework. You know? So my question is, why are we raising men who lack parenting and childcare skills? Why is there inequality in the way we raise our sons and daughters? Women call me on 01465-7190. Men call me on 0700-993-993-993. Of course, there's Facebook. Facebook is Nigeria Info 99.3. Nigeria Info 99.3. And we've got WhatsApp. WhatsApp is 80 959 Let's take a look at uh, some comments we have. On Facebook, Adeinka says, Adeinka Lade Shabi says, Boys and girls should be raised and taught equally in all aspects of life and family. The dynamics of the world we live in presently is ruthless and unforgiving, especially concerning women who are at a disadvantage due to preconceived norms. Adeinka, thanks for your message. We've got John Abafi who says, Sandra, I operate POS shop with my wife. We leave home the same time, return the same time, though we have different shops. So it would be wicked of me to leave all the house chores for her. We have just a daughter. I am a pastor and I do chores when my members visit us so that they can learn that women are not slaves. John Abafi, thank you for your message. We've got Oemi Nikorodu. Hello, Oemi. Welcome. Thank you, Sandra. Mm. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes. Um, my take on this subject, I think um, the responsibility to train both the child uh, the male and the female mm. lies with the parent. Mm -hmm. Our parents tend to actually assign duties and assign roles based on our capabilities. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there are some jobs that are not suitable for a female to do. You know, you also agree with me. I think in recent time there was an athlete from South Africa named Castor Semania. The female athletes from other countries had to protest because the level of testosterone in this Female, uh, they, uh, that's a different. Body. That's a different scenario entirely. Entirely, what you're doing is making a straw man argument. We're, we're sticking to. We're sticking with as a father. Are you a father? Okay. Are you a father? Not yet. Okay. So if you have children and you have a son and you have a daughter, you're saying that there are some chores in the house or duties in the house that will be more suited to your daughter than to your son. It is allocation of duty because. If you have to go different uh, on, a, on a long journey, maybe like when I grew up, mm. we are more, my, the boys at home, mm -hmm. 
we have to go and fetch water from a very far distance. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And then we, we need to put wheelbarrow, put uh, some brockets on our head. Mm -hmm. We also mobilize ourselves. We are four, four of us. You understand? Our sisters, the three of them, mm. will stay back why we do all of that can i tell you so, something can i tell you something when i was yeah. growing up i had to fetch water from a far distance on my head i had to carry wheelbarrow and also fetch water and my brothers had well, to do the same yeah i'm not saying it is not good no i but i'm, I'm, I'm arguing i'm arguing your premise your premise is that there are some things that are more suited for boys and i'm saying well why can't boys and girls do it and i gave the example earlier on of girls who go to boarding school or girls boarding school there is nothing that girls don't do. I went to a boarding school, all girls. There's nothing we didn't do in boarding school. Name it, we did it. But when we now put ourselves side by side, mm. when you want to say male and a female side by side to carry out the same task, mm -hmm. you will see the level of delivery will be different. And the level at which we accomplish some of those tasks. Give me, give me one example: a boy and a girl that you're raising in your house, your children, your your son and your daughter. You have a chore that you expect both of them to do. Give me one example. For instance, I am a I'm a good cook, all right. Mm -hmm. But my sisters are better cook than myself. Okay. Do you understand? But they can Is cook. The time I, I can cook. Yes. But, but, but they can but cook, and not, you can I will cook. I not claim proficiency. To be better than them. Okay. But nobody, is, but nobody is handing out award for best cook. We just want you to be able to cook. <laughs> yes. That's what I'm saying. That's that it. We will be able to do a lot of things. Uh -huh. But when it comes to... But you see now, you can cook in your wife's house. Better. But you see you can cook in yes. your wife's house now. Yes. Uh -huh. That's all. That's all we're asking for. We're not asking you to be a, a chef. We're just asking you to be able to cook in your wife's house. That's it. Which I can. Uh -huh. That's and it. And I think our parents should be able to actually allow that to, ha to happen among the children. Let everyone be exposed to all the necessary training, mm -hmm. equal training. But when you now want to get the best result or who is more suited to deliver on this job, then mm -hmm. you can now allocate, oh, okay, me is better with this thing. Yeah, you go and do this. You go and do this, you got it. But everybody, male and female, must undergo the same type of training from their parents. Ah, so, but wait, Amy, thank you very much. Oh, I'm sorry. I think he was still talking there. But thank you very much for calling. I, I think we've now finally like dr driven and driven and come back to the same road. 99.3, hello. Sandra, good evening. Frank, how are you? I'm fine. Welcome. I just want to ask you a small question. Mm -hmm. I've been, you know, I'm a fan of Nigeria Info. And many a times people will be saying their role model is Sandra, Sandra. And me, it's a personal. I like you. Because of your hard working. But if it's Wednesday, 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock, it's becoming another thing to me. But I want to ask you, what exactly do you want to achieve in this particular issue? All because right. So when you're ready to talk about what I'm, what I'm talking about, you give me a call back. Okay, Frank? Thank you. 99.3. Hello. <coughs> Sorry about that. Call me again. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hello. How are you? What's your name? My name is Buki. Good evening, Sandra. Hi, Buki. Good evening. Yeah. So, I wanted to put in a word on your discourse. Yes, please. I think parents have a responsibility of bringing the children, both boys and girls, equally. Hmm. I use myself as an example. Mm -hmm. Where two, I'm the first with a boy, mm -hmm. the second. But I tell you, in my house, there's no difference. My brother can cook. He can pound yam. It's as bad as that. Mm. I learned how to change tires as a young girl before I got into the university. And so the same thing applied to my husband. Mm. I mean, my husband is a chef. Okay. Oh, During Christmas nice. party, there are some occasions, there are some specific dish that I leave to my husband. Mm. He handles it. Mm -hmm. Life is the revenue. Oh, no. Buki, something's happening with your connection. It's not very clear. Oh, can you hear me now? Yes, this is better. Just stay where you are now. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm all actually on Francis. <laughs> okay. Said, we have now trained our children to follow suit. My son, who is in secondary school, the oldest, hmm. washes plates. They have days they wash plates. Hmm. They alternate it with my daughter. I have one daughter and two boys. Okay. They alternate it. They wash plates. They sweep. They do all the work. Even the boy knows how to cook. Mm -hmm. So that way they grow up 
they still know what we do. Right. So they know that we are examples, we are role models to them. And when they grow up, they know that they have a wife doesn't mean that she should slave in the kitchen. Mm. When I was having children, my husband was there for me, making food when I can't do it. Mm-hmm. He tells to the children when I come home late. Mm-hmm. And it works fine for us. No. I think parents need to learn to do that for their children, to have a balance balanced um, childhood or growing up stage. Hmm. Let me say that. Buki, thank you very much for calling. You know why it's important to, to have an equal playing field as as children to be treated as equals, boy and girl treated equally by their parents? Because they carry that into the world. They carry that into the world. The, 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 the programming that you have fit them with that's what they carry into the world. So it's 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 not enough to raise a perfect daughter. You have to raise a perfect son. Because that perfect daughter that you're raising will go and end up with an idiot. And that and you don't want that. There's no parent that wants that. Or you're raising the perfect son and you're not raising the perfect daughter, and your perfect son will end up with an idiot. You don't want that. Nobody who cares about the children there, they've or who claims to care. Let me say it like that. If you claim to care about the children that you are uh, raising, then you want them to end up with men who are worthy of them or women who are worthy of them. And the only way to ensure that there are enough worthy men and women is by raising men and women who are worthy. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Because I don't think that um, somebody like Frank from Ojo should be able to call me and his argument will be uh, a woman cannot, a, a man, no matter how strong he is, cannot carry two children and cross the main road. That's his argument. Like, that's his argument. A, a, no matter how strong a man is, he cannot carry children and travel to Enugu and come back, but a woman can do it. The only reason a woman can do it is because she was raised to do it. If she wasn't raised to do it, she won't be able to do it. That's it. That's how it works. What you teach is what they learn. The only reason a woman can bathe the baby is because... She was taught to do it. If a man was taught the same thing, he will do it. So I'm not trying to shake up your home. I'm not trying to shake up how you do things. I'm saying that there's a reason that societies that work, work. And there's a reason that societies that don't, don't. Two engines. If only one engine is working, the plane will not fly well. Both engines have to work. The plane currently in the air is the nation, Nigeria. The nation's engines are the men and the women, half and half of the population. The only reason that we are not utilizing the full potential of the other half of the population is because we are overworking only one half of the population. When we should be taking advantage of both both sides of the population, both engines, And where does all of it start? In the home. In the home. If Frank Frank was raised by his parents that, um, you know, he should do everything that a woman can do and a woman should do everything that he can do, which includes, by the way, providing for the home. Because, you know, it's also in the way we raise girls. So, you know, the man should protect you. The man should provide for you. That's what teaches girls to become women who go into their homes and start saying things like, my money is my money. His money is our money. They bite everybody. I'll take one final call and then we're going to move this conversation to next week. Because next week, I want us to take a look at women in the workforce. Is unequal parenting holding women back in the workforce? Unequal parenting. Is it holding women back in the workforce? That's the conversation we'll have next week. I'll take a final call from Grace. Grace is in Korodu. Hello, Grace. How are you? 
Grace, hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. I've got one minute, 30 seconds. Uh, the what I just want to say is, mm. so just for parents now, the way I was brought up mm -hmm. is quite different from the way I'm bringing my children up now. Okay. Though, in my house where I was brought up, mm. we were taught that it's only the girls that can cook. Mm -hmm. It's only in the absence where the girls are not around that the guys can cook. Mm. But in my home, I was blessed with only boys. Okay. And as I'm talking to you, my children do everything for me, more than what girls can do. Mm. So they wash, mm -hmm. they clean, mm -hmm. they cook. Everything, as I'm talking to you now, mm -hmm. I don't even do any house choice any longer. I wake them early, they do it before they go to school. Mm. When they came back from school, whatever remaining, they did. So that is how, even if um, God even gave me a girl too, I would have treated them equally the same. Because what if for adventure they did not marry a wife that can cook? Mm. So now, if they should marry a wife that cannot cook, they can be able to take care of that. Grace, thank you very much for calling. I wish I had more time to listen to Grace, but I need to go. The advertisers love this show. I have to read for my exams, but I feel so sleepy. Hey, drink amber. Oh, more. This work is a tire gone. Alaya, you know, go drink amber. I'm not sure I can meet that deadline. Uh uh. You can't, Joe. Drink amber. This traffic na die, you. Guy! <laughs> not to drink amber. That's right. With one can of Amber Energy Drink, you get your daily recommended dose of nutrients, vitamins, amino acids, citric acid, and a blend of guarana, a natural caffeine to give that huge rush of energy to get you through your day. And don't forget that refreshingly premium taste that is sure to blow your mind. Last, last, while I found the drink Amber. Oh. Amber is proudly Niger and available in stores near you. Amber Energy Drink. Stimulate the energy in you. Hello, hello? Eddie, my friend. Yeah? May is going to be amazing with DSTV. There are 155 matches from the Premier League. What? La Liga, Serie A, Champions League, and FA Cup. Whoa. That's two of the biggest cup finals and three of the best leagues in the world reaching the pinnacle of the season. Whoa, that is amazing. It is amazing, Eddie. And the only place in the world where you can watch all of this amazing football in May is on DSTV. Be amazed by the world's best football when you get connected to DSTV. to bring out the shine in them. Lush hair. Be beautiful. Charles! Yes, mommy! Go 
come and bring two sachets of type of bleach for me. Why two? Because I'm using one to soak the whites and using one to kill all the germs. But I can't see any germs here. <laughs> they are so tiny, you can't see them. But they are there. And that is why I trust only Hypo Bleach to kill them all. Make your white fabrics whiter and your household free of illness causing germs and viruses with the disinfecting power of Hypo Bleach. Hypo, hypo. You've always wished you had a Samsung washing machine? Now you can get one in the Super Deals promo. From now to the 31st of May, you can get up to a 24% discount when you buy a Samsung twin top washing machine and an 11% discount on drum washing machines. Get a washing machine and enjoy innovative technology that only Samsung can provide. Stay connected with Samsung. Listening to your number one station for talk. Your number one station for talk. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. Hello, my name is Abdul. I'm first asking how I stay updated with current happenings around me despite my busy work schedules. Hmm, oh, that's my secret. Everywhere I go, my radio, my radio goes, goes with 